Zimbabwe, known for its rich reserves of lithium, crucial for the batteries that power our electric cars, stands at a critical juncture. The country not only faces a surge in demand for this metal, but is also entangled in a web of human rights abuses and political repression, especially intensified around the 2023 elections. The government's crackdown on civil society and opposition isn't just a local issue. It echoes a warning to the global community about the fragility of democracy and human rights. Laws are being manipulated, critics silenced, and yet, there's little to no accountability for these actions. This isn't just alarming, it's a catastrophe in the making. But the troubles don't end there. Southern Africa, including Zimbabwe, is grappling with an El Nino-induced drought. This has led to failed crops, skyrocketing food prices, and a severe humanitarian crisis. Imagine, in just March of this year, over 18.6 million people were facing critical levels of food insecurity in the region. Now, despite these daunting challenges, there's a glimmer of hope. The Southern African Development Community, or SADC, is stepping up. They've launched a $5.5 billion humanitarian aid appeal to combat the effects of this devastating drought. This regional effort is crucial, not just for immediate relief, but for sustainable support through this crisis. As youths and advocates for human rights, our voice in this matter is more powerful than we might think. It's about raising awareness, pushing for accountability, and driving international focus towards both the political and environmental crises facing Zimbabwe and its neighbors. Let's not be bystanders. Engaging with this issue, discussing it in our circles, and supporting aid efforts are steps we can all take. Zimbabwe's cry for help is loud and clear. It's time for the region, and indeed the world, to listen and act. Thank you for tuning in. Let's make a difference together.